not having an abortion. I'm sorry, Alfred, I can't. I cannot. I am scared. We just have to find another way to solve this particular problem, but not the solution. Honestly, I wish there's another way. He knows you are pregnant. How? His source is discreet. That's why I'm begging you to please do this for your sake and also for me not to be disinherited. your damn call! from you I'll blow your head off
scared. What is it? I'm, I'm good. It was just a dream. Yeah, I can handle it. It was just a dream. Just a dream? Yes. Like I said earlier on, it was just a dream. But I'm fine. I'm good. Are you sure you're fine? Are you sure everything is okay? Good. It's just a dream. Britain is the great lion of this kingdom. Your Majesty, it is time for your fruit siesta. Thank you, Mark. May I leave? Thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. I humble myself before the most powerful king of Wubiago, the Shint Kingdom. Your Majesty, may your reign exceed that of your ancestors. You're welcome, Ageli, my most trusted ally. All through the night, I missed your presence. How was the assignment? faithfully and very neatly carried out, Your Majesty. As usual, you have proven yourself worthy of being my right-hand man. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You seem to have words buried in your stomach that seems not to digest. Your Majesty, your wisdom is very incomprehensible to the mortal minds. But my king, can I please have a moment of honesty with you? Yeah. Thank you so much, my king. Your majesty, don't you think you have pushed the prince so hard this time around? The young man is in love with that girl and was so excited to talk about marriage. Agar royal marriage is devoid of love. You marry for the things you stand to gain, for yourself and the next generation. Listen to me. You might be a powerful man today, but if you fail to plan, your next generation will become puppets to others. Your Majesty, you have a valid point. A very valid point. But my king... Ah, really? If Alfred marries the princess of Obodilu Kingdom, we are talking now about the only child of the king of kings, the state. The heir apparent to that kingdom, we have a lot to gain. Aside from helping me to become a senator, the two kingdoms will have marriage alliance. And other kingdoms around us will catch cold when we sneeze. 
And for that to be achieved, the root of the problem must be cut off. I, I am very sorry for questioning you in my foolishness, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. That's no problem. May I take your lead? As it pleases you. Picking her calls. You should be angry with me. Isn't that she's angry that I didn't pick her calls or what last night? But it's not in your nature to snub people. I know you, especially not me. You can snub me. Please, you have to pick your call. Driver, you hurry up now. Hurry up now. Speed up, please. Madam, I know go horrible. You want us to get us there and die. I, we are not going to get accidents, but please, eh? Okay. You have to speed up, Bikonu. I don't know that I get family. You are not going to die in Jesus' name and leave your family. Oh, but please, you have to speed up. I'm, I'm late. If you don't feel wrong, come out, make a driver. Ah. Why is he not picking his call? Why are you not picking your call, man? Oh, God damn it, man. Pick your calls, pick your calls. God, I thought they say you're a professional. What's going on? Delay is dangerous, man. You know this. Delay is too dangerous. Oh, God. Hello, what's up? What's going on? Why haven't you been taking your calls? Just go straight to the point and tell me, is it done? Can you just quit the explanation and just give me the answer? Is it done? <sighs> okay, that's good. It's alright. Um, you know what, for now you just stay on the low. Um, if there's any other thing, I would probably call you up, then we discuss. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Sorry, I have to do this. I'm sorry this has to happen. But I pray this would solve everything. Everything. The gates open. Eh? Has school let started smoking or what? Or he went out to buy something and left the gates wide open. Kule. 
Ole. What is wrong with this one? Hey, Mr. Man. So you're here sleeping comfortably and you left the gate open, wide open. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? Stand up from there. I'm, I'm talking to you. Kule! Kule! Stand up! See, I'm not joking, no. If you not stand up from there, I will slap you. You can imagine this early morning, you're, you're, you're sleeping. Kule! Kule! This early morning, you're sleeping. Where is the... Laura! What is wrong with you? Kule! Kule! Where is Laura? Kule! Hey! Kule! Hey! Laura! Laura! What is happening? Laura! Laura, honestly, I don't understand what you're doing. What is wrong with this bitch? Yes, yes. What is wrong with you? Why are you disturbing my life, you inheritors and sister snatcher? What is it? When was the last time you came to your sister's house? What do you need that information for? What? A anyway, if you must know. I stopped coming the moment you made her throw me out of the house. Yes. Oh, please, please. If you don't have anything important to tell me, get out of my phone. I have things to do. Then sit here listening to your deceitful voice. Gift Laura is dead. What rubbish are you talking about? Tina, you're useless. I've always known you as somebody who is very stupid and foolish. It is your entire generation that are dead. 
Your family, your siblings, they are dead. What? Get out of my phone. Slot. What is wrong with this girl? <laughs> I think she's trying to pull my legs. What nonsense. What nonsense. Tina, Tina, that bitch is just trying me unnecessarily. Well, then how are you feeling? Can you remember anything that happened here? I think whatever happened is still affecting him. I think so too. We'll have to leave him until he's ready to talk. Susan? Yes, boss? Go inside and find out if other officers are able to find out something. Okay, boss. Okay. Oh. Okay. Tell me I'm dreaming. Tell me I'm dreaming now. Hello. We are running off very soon. Please send ambulance as soon as possible. All right. Waiting. Ow, ow. Ow. Are we going to explain this? What is going on here? Madam, who are you? I'm Gift, younger sister to the owner of this house. Oh, I... I am sorry for the loss, I... What loss are you talking about? Do you know this property was shot dead? My sister! Do you know this no, property? No, no way! No way! Hey, take it, hey, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Don't tell me to take it easy. Don't tell me to take it easy. Where my sister's mother is here. Sina, take it easy. 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 She did everything for you. She gave you everything you've ever wanted. Yet you had the nerve to kill her. Tell her you are witch. Why are people wicked? Tell her you are witch. You are evil. Oh, please. Please. It's okay. I cannot be calm. I cannot just be calm. I cannot be calm. I cannot be calm. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I will handle this. Witch. Calm down. I will handle this. Calm down, calm down, listen, calm down, I will handle this. What exactly is really going on? What exactly should I do because I am getting really scared about the whole thing? Should I just confess? Then what happens if I confess? What will the world do or say?
becomes my fate. God, I have committed a terrible sin that even death is a little punishment. Can you forgive me if I keep quiet? Alfred, please, I beg you in the name of the gods, drop the gun. For it is a taboo for any man born of a woman to point a gun at the king of Obago Kingdom, your own father. Shut up! Step aside, Ameri! Else I will shoot the both of you and die the consequences. Then go ahead and shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me, I Prince Alfred. Go ahead! And what gave you the gods? To embarrass me before my subjects. You stepped on my guts. You pushed me to the last limit. Is it not demeaning for a king like you to do a thing like that? How can you exchange such an expensive clothing for a rag? That's enough. You will address me as a king. You are not my king. You heard me. What crime did a girl commit? What moral justification do you have? For such an atrocity that you've committed, the only crime the girl committed was to love your son. She was pregnant for your own son, yet you killed her because she loved me. You don't tell me why you killed that girl. I swear, I swear by the gods, I will shoot you. My prince, I beg you once again, drop the gun. Drop your gun. Come inside and have a tete a tete with your father, the king. What you are doing is a taboo. Please, I beg you. Let him tell me why he killed the innocent girl. What did she do to you? Answer me!
right feeling. It makes me feel heaven on earth. Oh, thank you, darling spider, for introducing me to this. Sent among us is here. Sis, I never knew you were home. Gift, how many times have I warned you to stop doing drugs in my house? Come on. Sis, forget that shit. Forget it. We cannot be on the same page. We can't. Because for the first time, you have said something reasonable. We can't be on the same page. Same way we can't live under the same roof because I will not have a drug dealer living with me. So you have to go live with your candy. Let me have that. Come on, sis. Let's sis, 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 come on, sis, sis, oh my God, I never knew she was around. this I blame you I blame you you caused this you introduced me into drugs and now I've been disinherited I have this is no time for you to lament it's no time for lamentation it's not time for you to act like a baby and want to cry. It is time for you to think straight and do the needful. What stupid needful are you talking about? Stupid needful. Look, babe. Right. Now, you just say the word. Oh, yes. Just say the word. I will organize my boys. They will go and kidnap your sister. Okay? and force her to change the next of kin back to you. Better still, if she proves stubborn, we'll take her off, we'll take her out. Yeah. And that gives you total control of everything. Then you can live the life you want. You know, be everything you want, right? You just say the word, that's all. Just say the word. I've always known you're stupid. You're very, very stupid. What nonsense are you talking about? What? What? Baby, listen to me, right? Forget the fact that your sister is working for some company. Your sister is very rich, stickingly rich, and we know, I know, and they know. Okay? She has her businesses scattered everywhere. You just say it. I just want you to have the whole thing. Live the life you want to live. You can fly and be the boss lady. Come on. Me, you ruined my life already. Leave me, you ruined my life. Stop ruining it any further. No, see, listen. I just want you to have everything. Just think about it. Don't be like a baby man. Hi. Huh? Me, you bad boy, leave me alone. Oh. 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 
She says she has someone who will treat her better. Right? You have someone who is better than me, then go there. Go there because I cannot continue to have a, this drug addict, this drug lord in my house before she turns my house into a drug den. Before you know it, armed robbers, kidnappers will start coming here. So let her get out of my house before she messes it up. Okay, please, you want her to leave. Fine. But ask yourself, where will she go to? I don't care. Tina, I don't care. Besides, she has a boyfriend, a fellow drug addict like her. Let her go there. Somebody she had the effort to bring it to my house. Brought a fellow drug addict into my house in the name of boyfriend. Get out. Tina, 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 I'm going to have a personal problem with you. If you don't step out of my window. See, 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 see,
Hold on. Is, is Lara dead? Don't fucking play that with me! Don't fucking play that with me! What, what is this? What is this? Why are you slapping me? Why? I'm asking, why are you slapping me? Don't fucking play dumb with me. Don't do that! Wait a minute. Do you think I'm a coward? Do I look like a coward to you? Do I look like an amateur game player? No, I'm asking you, babe. So you think I'll pull a hit on your sister without asking for your permission? No, I'm asking. Is that how low you think of me? Me, Spider? Is that why you are slapping me? Spider, you did not sleep here last night. I fucking tried calling you! Your phone was up! If you claim you did not kill her, then who did? Spider, who did? My prince, I beg you in the name of the gods or whatsoever you hold sacred, please put the gun down. Too wrong they say can never ever make a right. Please, be prudent with whatever... My prince, I beg you, be prudent with whatsoever you do in life. Prince Alfred, cross-examine all that has happened here today and tell me if there are things that you, as a prince, will be very proud of if they get out of the four walls of this palace. Of course, I know you will not be proud of them. My prince, the king, your father, has done everything possible to ensure that your future is well positioned. Everything he has done is in your own best interest. Just to ensure that your life is very palatable. Pico, my own prince, I beg you, do not allow inconsequential things to be cloud your sense of Did you just say inconsequential things? I... I will forgive your stupidity for repelling to the smart as inconsequential. Hey! Listen, you have triggered my anger. And I want to tell you this. I just prayed at the end of this whole fracas. That you are innocent, else I swear by the gods of this land, you will throw the rock of me. I'm still cold. I can't believe Laura will no longer show up at work. Yeah, this is indeed very shocking. Like they say, Death is one of the variables that brings down and also in states. So are you saying that her death paved me for something? It's just a quote of which I am not the originator. Uh, Nancy, is there something I need to know? What do you mean? You fully know what I mean. Between you and I, who deserves that question? This case is looking like a case that is going to be so complicated. You are just in my thought. There is no weapon of mother in the scene and no form of fingerprint anywhere. Not like cases we've cracked so easily in the past. This case is going to challenge us. I will have to give you the best of our shots. You have a valid point there. I would suggest we don't invite anyone for questioning right now. Let's take a few days to carry out a discreet investigation 
to find out the background of the deceased and her circle of friends, family and colleagues, and then we will know where and how to start. This is why I like working with you. So, where do we start from? Hey! The princess girl is dead? Are you serious? Wait, oh. Could it be that the allegation leveled against the king is true? Would you? There is always an actum of truth in every rumor. Didn't you witness what just happened there? The prince pointed a gun at his father. He couldn't have had such guts if there have not been any form of threat before the lady's death. You know, at this point now, eh? It's just hurting me that that girl just won't be. That girl just died just like that girl just died like that. Eh? See, I'm not getting it. Something is playing in my head. What do you mean? I'm suspecting Mark. Shut your mouth. Hey, what is wrong with you? Prince Alfred, he's suspecting his father. And you're here, suspecting Mark. Please, oh, eh? I can't matter, my hands are not there. Didn't you hear his statement earlier about the prince coming home only if the lady died? Mm. That is the mm. only way for him to announce to us that the prince is coming home. See, maybe mm. the king sent him on that mission. You know, he's beginning to play at me now. Mm -hmm. Let's even analyze this very well. Could it be... That's the reason why Mark asked me to handle the kitchen for him. And when I served the king's food, he didn't say any word at all. Now you are thinking smart. What can really stand between women and gossip? The light of the palace is back! <laughs> Woo! You're welcome! How are you? You're just coming back now. We have a lot to talk about. Are you <laughs> he pointed a gun at me. The revered king of this ancient kingdom. Does he know that I can disinherit him forever? Does he know that I can reduce him to a puppet? Your majesty, please. I beg you. Do not allow your anger to escalate more than this. Even the realm of immortals listen to you. My king, I beg you, calm yourself, please. Your anger is capable of making a blossom flower wither. Please, Biko, take it easy with him. He is your first fruit, the only seed from your loins. Please, my king. Take it easy. Butu, be. Ageli, Ikemba is not a sentimental person. I can do what will make an eye bleed. The ear tingle. Your, majesty. Uh, your, your Majesty, your fruit siesta is ready, sir. Get out of my face before I have you on the spike! Please, Your Majesty. Take it easy. Forgive him. He is a very foolish human being. He acted in his foolishness. Please forgive him, Your Majesty. My, my king, a lot has happened in this palace today. Things that I, Ayeri, will not condone ordinarily. But I will allow all the foolishness of today to slide just because of you. My king, I beg you. Do not allow your anger to take a better part of you. Onyeze, Butu. And I pray the gods to keep you longer than your ancestors put together.
Dali nam ho. Honey? Honey? I'm What's the sorry. problem? Oh, welcome, um, welcome, darling. Are you How... okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. How long have you been here? I have been observing you since I came in and I noticed your mood wasn't okay. What's the problem? Tell me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, a lot comes with pregnancy and mood swings, so I wasn't just... I'm fine, trust me, I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm finding it difficult to believe your words. What do you want me to do to prove to you that I'm fine? Oh, give me some cute smiles. Oh, you see it's, how it's cute the, you it, are? I know, it's just stomach ache, you know, mood swing. A lot comes with pregnancy, darling. I'm good. Stomach ache. Now you've said what the problem is. So let me just quickly take you to the hospital so they can check you, okay? Ah, sweetheart, here you go again. I just told you it's stomach ache. It's not like anybody's dying. Really? If you say so, I got you your favor, right? Oh. Yeah, baby. Thank you so much. What will I do without you? I just want you to look okay and be okay. fine. I didn't like the mood I met you. Give it to me. I'm sorry. So touch it now. You know this is very delicate. Yeah. Sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm. 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 <laughs> Please be fine. Okay. Well, let me just change. Okay. I'm okay. home. All right. <laughs> uh. Girl, this is really getting into my head. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know what to do at this point. My fear is gradually coming to limelight. And this might engulf me if proper care is not taken. Please, I need your help. I need your help to clean up this mess. You are the only one I can turn to at this point. Please. Jesus! 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 Mother! What are you doing here? You, you are dead! You are dead! I saw your corpse bagged and taken into the ambulance! I, Jesus! For those who thirst, destruction and misery for others shall not elude the same fate. For every success you make is a stepping stone to your own misery. Laura, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. Please, please forgive me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, Laura. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Your Majesty, my king, he sent for me. How fast and discreet can you carry out an urgent matter? My king, just say the word. Tell me what you want me to do for you and consider the matter settled. Ageli, you have faithfully served me for a long time, and I appreciate that. But this matter can cost a lot. My king, 
My service is dedicated to you and you alone. My priority in life is to ensure that you are always happy. My king, Onyeze, do not worry yourself about me, Ageri, for I will always be fine. Close up. Onyeze, if that is what you want Ageri to do for you, then consider it done. For Ageri can never fail you. Is your very good person in your own unique way. I pray in our next word will be best of some feathers and we'll flock together. I need you to be very honest with me and answer the question that I'm about to ask you. Honest. Spider, what question is that? What? 
gift. Did you kill Laura? What nonsense? What rubbish question is that? I thought you said you're a drug lord. Why is it not affecting your brain? Why? Gift. Spider is not under the influence of anything. I ask you again, did you kill your sister? Spider. Spider! See, I don't have time for your jittering. I don't. If you no longer have anything important to say to me, please tell me. Because your stress is no longer served, I cannot stay in the same space with you. What nonsense. What rubbish question. Nonsense. Hmm. How, how, how did you get my daughter? How? gift. I ask again. And the question should be, did you kill her? Your sister. Laura, why did you die? Why? Tell me! I was in charge of your life. The air you breathe and everything that has to do with you, I was responsible. You have no right to die the way you did. You were supposed to tell me before you fucking die! Laura, tell me how many bullets, how many times were you shot? How many that you couldn't withstand the bullets and wait for me to come see you myself? Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me, Laura? Why? The good times we had, the beautiful moments we shared, the memories we had together. And now, all you could do is just to die. Why? Uh, why, Laura? Why? Listen, I know your plan is for me to cry. I'm not gonna cry, right? I'm not gonna cry because I know you can hear me! Laura! I know you can hear me! What is it? Well, we still have not gotten to the rendezvous. I'm still standing by for you, darling. Bring it on! Ooh. I'm ready. Uh. Yeah. Ah! My love. Oh. What is it? My leg. What is it? My leg. Sherry. What happened? Oh. 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 Alright. So, so this, this is a game, isn't it? Okay. You remember when we sang this song? One love, keep us together. Yeah. You remember the song? I got to die! When you shouldn't have. Because the air you breathe, I paid for it. Everything concerning your existence. I had them on my palm. Laura, I am sorry for what I did to you. I am deeply sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me, Laura, please. 
I know I've hurt you. What I did to you was so painful. Forgive me, please. Jesus! 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 Lola, is that really you? Lola, is this you, Lola? Lola, please, I, I, I beg of you, Lola, please. Yeah, Lola, please, I, I try to please you to forgive me, please. Lola, please, forgive me, please. Forgive me. I, I have heard, please. Forgive me, Lola. Please. Yes. Promises. <laughs> Unfulfilled promises. Just because you wanted to actualize your selfish desire. Alfred, you broke the code of love. Why? How could you do this to me? Laura, I am sorry, Laura, please. I swear, if I have the chance to correct this again, I swear I will correct the mistake of your death, please. I am sorry, forgive me, please. <laughs> You promised to protect me till the end. You promised to take me to a safe harbor. But my protector became my bane and disaster. Please, please, forgive me. Forgive me for the disappointment. Because of my immaturity. But I promise you, I will make this right. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, my love. He who fetches an ant infested firewood should not blame the lizard when it comes calling. Alfred. <laughs> The day of reckoning is upon you. The day of reckoning is coming. Your day of reckoning is at hand. The day of reckoning I just pray that the botox of the chicken is not revealed. This is no longer as easy as it seemed. Now they have invited me for interrogation. What am I going to tell them? That she was my enemy before her death? Running doesn't look good on you, Williams. Laura, Laura, please. I know I've done something abominable to you. But please, Laura, don't hurt me. Please, forgive me, Laura, please. please. Anger is a tool that leads to incomprehensive destruction. But why trading the path of greed? You should learn not to throw caution to the wind. Please, I know I'm not supposed to... For the end thereof leads to darkness. Please, I know I'm not supposed to beg for your forgiveness, but please, the deed has been done. Tap out justice with mercy, I beg you. Please. Williams, mercy comes with a price. You know what to do. Do the needful before Nemesis befalls you. Can you state your name? My name is Miss Justin Williams. And your relationship with the deceased? Sirs, please, you have to control your tears. 
She was my best friend. In fact, she was more than a sister to me. Workwise, when she was promoted as the general manager, I was made her personal assistant. In other words, you know this lady like the back of your palms, judging from your statement. Of course I do. Miss Tina, can you tell us about your supposed friend? Did she keep friends? Was she in a relationship? I was her only friend. Her friendship with any other person was passive. And her relationship, she told me there was this guy in her life. But she never introduced him to me. I thought at the appropriate time she would, but she never did. Her younger sister called you a murderer. Are you? That's a powerful allegation and you know it. It's a simple question. Or is there an atom of truth in the gossip? Well, from our findings, the disease made you the nest of kin to all she had. In fact, she disinherited her sister just for you. And in a few days, she's dead. What do you have to say about that, Miss Justina Williams? Now, listen. You have to take it easy on her. She's still a girl and yet to understand life. Did you just say a girl? A girl who has a boyfriend? Who is on drugs? No. And when exactly is she supposed to understand life? No, tell me. When she has finally frustrated herself to death or, or me. That won't happen. <laughs> That's why you're her older sister. You have to keep talking to her, okay? Just take it easy. Please. Girl, I am tired. I am tired of teaching, of coaching, of whatever. I am frustrated. There is nothing in the book that I haven't done for this girl. Like I have done virtually everything to make sure that... Okay. Okay. That this girl does not put the name of my family to shame. So tell me if there's something I've not done or you think I should do. Tell me. Uh, no, I know you're trying already. I know you've been trying. But please, all I ask is for you to take it easy. And I don't like the way you're feeling right now. I don't like it. Okay, you know what? Let's go. Drive, let's go. It's okay, baby girl, drive. Tina, I... I am tired. I know. Just take it easy. Seriously, I... It's okay. Like, this girl is the only family I have. That's why I say let's go, okay? Don't, don't just that. Please. It's okay. Let's go. It's all right, I'm okay.
What's the meaning of this? Like, I, I don't understand. What's this? What I should have done a long time ago. The right thing. What stupid writing are you talking about? What is this? Tina. I have a sister. Her name is Gift. Yes? And she has never ever contributed anything positive to my life, my company, or anything that has to do with the positivity of this household. She brings absolutely nothing to the table. This girl is a graduate of business administration, yet I had to employ people to manage my business. Meanwhile, I have a sister who studied the same thing. All she does is sit at home, eat my money, do drugs, go after men, live all sorts of rubbish life, and you expect me to make this insane person my nest of kin. <sighs> Tina, is that what you want for your friend? I get the point. Sis, I understand. But... Come on. Gift has a lot to learn. Please, I beg you in the name of God, give her a little time. I beg you. Tina, I do not like it when you use that word. She has a lot to learn. Learn what? When exactly is this girl supposed to learn these things? No, I don't understand. Make it make sense. When is she supposed to learn this said thing? An adult, for that matter, you know what, please, just sign this if you want to sign it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sign it. It belongs to your sister. Fine. Since you will not sign it, maybe I should get someone, a random person to do it for me. Except maybe you want to change your mind right about now. Tina, well crafted. You know, she will be a good actor. Susan, what do you think? I think so too. What are you guys talking about? What we are talking about is that we've been in this business for so long and so we are good in what we do. You just signed a document that this inherited someone just because the disease talked about getting a random person. What is your business if she gets a random person? And I think your mind was already on that position even before she asked. Are you guys trying to say that I killed my friend? Is that what you did? All I can make out here is the reverse of everything you just said. Seriously, Tina, things are getting out of hand. I, it's, it's becoming way too much. I don't even know what to do anymore because abnormation is no longer working. I don't... Okay, the other day she stole 250,000 naira from my drawer in my room. And that's not all. This girl will wake up in the night and just leave the house without telling anyone. And then she comes back days after with no explanation whatsoever. Like I don't know what else to do. I'm just, I'm just, what do you think I should do? Maybe there's something I'm not doing right. Well, you have only one remedy. Which is? She's a nest of king. And also a signatory to your other properties, right? Yes. You have to disinherit her 
as soon as possible. Excuse you. Do you realize we are talking about my only sibling? Of course, I'm not disputing that. But when you throw caution to the wind, you wake up one morning to realize that she has sold everything you have, including yourself. And with such level of pressure and sweet tongue, who wouldn't act with haste? Mind your hand and your voice, else I will slap off all the teeth in your mouth. I'm sure you still want to eat meat. Are you ready? Are you ready to tell the truth? Or you have more fabricated tales to present? Are you ready? <laughs> what do you guys want from me? What? There are so many places you can shed tears to gain public pity. One of those places is definitely not here. How can I kill my own sister? How? Someone that trusted me so much to the point she entrusted all she had to me. All I gain, all I gain by killing her. Why are you guys frustrating me? Why are you guys tormenting me? I've told you. I did not kill my sister. I did not kill her. What will I possibly gain from killing my own sister? Please, stop. Stop, I'm tired. Stop it. What will I possibly get? Just one thing. I know what you did. Who is that? Who, who is that? <gasps> Tina, what are you doing with a gun? Stop! What? Tina, what are you doing? Huh? Tina, stop, stop. Tina, stop. What is this? What, what, what is this? The only thing gun users do, kill. Come on, Tina, this is not you. This is not your character. Tina, who sent you? What, is this a joke? Tina, stop, stop. Come on, put down the gun. Put down the gun. Put the gun down, Tina. Please. She asked who sent me. My darling, I sent myself. You know one problem you have? Too much trust and kindness. I mean, who would believe that you will disinherit your own sister just because of a suggestion of a total stranger? And then transferring everything she used to enjoy to me. <laughs> Baby girl. You know me too well. One thing I don't take is chances. Because I don't want to wake up one morning and hear that your sister is now a saint and you have transferred everything back to her. That is one thing I won't leave to see. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry it's going to end this way. I'm so sorry. Tina, Tina, go with. <laughs> Are you begging? Like a sister to me. I know. Tina, you can't do this. Okay, fine. Tina, see, it's not too late. Just put the gun down. Okay. Put it down. This is just between the two of us. Nobody's going to hear of it. Okay? Just, just, just. I get your fears. It's not going to happen. I'm never going to change my mind. Please, I know. Tina. I know. But you know what they say. Family comes first. I know no one is going to hear it because it's just you. And I. She said I should just stop, but I'm sorry. <laughs> the threat has been taken, and everything now belongs to you. Oh, please, don't mind. 
beg you, I beg you, stop. Please. I have told you this is not a morgue. Neither is it a hospital where people shed tears. Save those tears for when we will torture you. Now tell us the truth so we know how to reduce your jail time. I am not a murderer. I did not kill Laura. I loved her so much. I loved Laura so much. She's like... From your written statement, she called you a good number of times. The night she was murdered, she never picked up her call. As early as possible the next day you went to her house. So the question here is, why didn't you pick up her call the previous night? I was fast asleep. I didn't notice my phone was ringing, I swear. It was the phone on silence? No, it wasn't. Has there ever been a time or times where you and the deceased made call at past 10 at night? Yes. Yes. We do speak by 11 p.m. till 12, depending on what we are talking about. And that night she was killed. You decided to sleep very early and your ears were waxed to not have heard the sound of your phone. All right, let's assume you didn't kill her. My question is, who did? Who did? Sounded so urgent over the phone. What's the problem? Look, I am scared. I cannot stay in this house all alone. No, I, I don't seem to understand you. You're scared. Scared of what? Darling, what you've been staying and living here all alone while I go to work. So what is scaring you now? Did anything happen? Can you just tell me? <sighs> Baby, look, I haven't got much time from work. I just took only 30 minutes break to come find out what the problem is. I need to report back to the office, okay? Now do me a favor. I want you to get some of these thoughts off your head. Oh, please. I said I need you here and you're talking about your work. Is your work more important than me? Maybe it's not what I mean. I'm only just trying to Had explain... Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten how delicate my pregnancy is? Have you forgotten what the doctor said? That's why she said I constantly need someone to be around me and that person is you! You, Samuel! Darling, you need to help me out in this. You just have to help me out in this situation, okay? You know I have to go to work. You know I have to work to be able to make the money that we need to take care of you and our baby and every other thing that you may need in this whole house. It's money we're talking about. I know that you need someone around you to help you out here in the house. And that is exactly the reason I spoke to my mother to come over here so she can assist you with whatsoever that you need, but you refuse. I do not want your mother yet. The only time I need your mother is when I have given birth. I don't have strength for all this ancient of this method. Please. Okay, babe, babe. Let me just get you. Let me just get you a caregiver. I'm sure that will... Samuel, it's like you're not understanding what I'm saying. I don't need any caregiver or whatever. It is only you and the doctor I trust. But I what is it? Work. I have to go to work. And your doctor friend is in India currently. Can you help me? How, how do we find solution to this problem now? You are my wife. Please, can we put our heads together? How do we solve this Samuel, issue? Samuel, I do not care how we're going to sort it out. But find a solution to this problem. Talk to your office people so you can come and babysit and look after me. I cannot stay in this house all alone. Please, I've, I've set my mind. I beg. Babe, you have to help me to solve this problem. You're my wife. It's between you and I. 
and you keep scaring me with one, one strange dream to the other. I don't seem to understand this whole thing. Samuel, you have to understand. Understand my condition. The king of kings himself. Awolodike. I salute you, my good friend. You can say that again. I am fine, and the prince too. How is Lola, your beautiful wife? Wow. <laughs> the princess will be done with her doctorate degree in the next two months. That's wonderful. In other words, Nigeria will be gracing the presence of the latest Dr. Sunes. That's the biggest news of the day. <laughs> In that case, I will be making an arrangement for the royal wedding. Oh, thank you, my friend. <laughs> thank you for everything. I really appreciate our Odikan D boy. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Again. My king. Which beast feasted on your soft spots? That your countenance can cause miscarriage to an expectant mother. Uh, my lord, I am very sorry to be the harbinger of an unpleasant tidings that is capable of tampering with your smile this very moment. <laughs> well, at this point, as you can see, I am too happy to be sad. And a king must be ready to receive any sort of information. That's why he wears the crown. Your Majesty, I called Prince Alfred to give him the information as we instructed. But he bluntly refused, like he bluntly told me that he would neither carry out the instruction nor come see you later. <laughs> Is that why your face is rampant? <laughs> well, um, Princess Olivia will be gracing the land in the next two months. Then, I will know between me and my son who is the cow or the lion. Brighten up. Brighten up. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you, my king. Uh, Your Majesty. I am always ready. Much ready, bro. Hey, what is it? What is your problem? Must you start with me? And what were you thinking that made you wander off? It's nothing of your business. I see. Are you telling me or not? I said it's nothing of your business. I mean, is it now you're crying for a man to just sit and ponder for his life? Mark, where did you go? I mean, the night you asked Suju to help you serve dinner for the first time. What are you talking about? I mean, and why are you asking such certain questions? Answer me. I, I, and why must he answer that stupid question of yours? Why must he answer you? Are you now his employer? I'm asking you. Have you become his employer that he will answer that question you just asked? Eh? Mark, look at you. Look at what you have reduced yourself 
a mere girl, an ordinary maiden like this, a maiden without class, will now stand before you and question you. And you will even open your mouth to provide answer to that question. I'm, I'm ashamed of you. Will you go and serve the, the, the king his fruit before, before I, I, I descend on you? Hey, how did I forget? I know. I mean, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It is, these maidens are... And you, minister of gossip, if you don't mind yourself in this palace, if you don't mind your, your duty post, I will deal with you. Now, get out of my sight. Come on, get out. Look at her. With your strong waist. I don't blame you. You go about carrying it up and down. Idiot. Madam, welcome. Madam. Madam, your gate man, they say welcome. Madam, welcome. Madam! Madam! Madam, welcome! Oh. Ah, ah, now, now, wow! Oh. Oh, don't go make Madam verse for night. Then they, they make person verse for night now. Eh, this woman is a better person. Eh, I, I don't know. Anything where the problem be. You don't be, you say you don't be. But she go there alright. Eh? Uh, welcome. Madam, oh. welcome! Oh. Welcome. Bravo! Beautiful storyline. You know, it's quite captivating on how a murderer will create a fantastic storyline. That was what happened. I'm waiting for be that. But I'm not, I'm not fit to keep my madam. I swear to God. If you look me well, well, because this is a young man like you, we're not fit to even keep mosquito head back when I swear to God. Shut up! This is neither a church nor a shrine where people swear. The doctor said the drug you inhaled couldn't have lasted till this morning in your system. What do you have to say about that? My sister and her virgin, the teeth fit. I don't know what to make the teeth stick on my body like that. No, no, madam. If the teeth go, the teeth last my body like that. I don't know. I need to take drug before and make it be like the teeth did here. My sister is a virgin. I've never done this kind of thing before. I swear. I did not Shut up! I think I know how you played your game. <laughs> Hello? Yes, 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 yes. She's back. She came back not too long, eh? eh but the thing is, eh? I'll be outside, pretending to be asleep. Then the key will be inside my pocket. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. And when you just come, you just take it from my pocket. Hey, but wait, wait, wait. After the operation, eh, I'll send my account number. So do not be suspicious then. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. Thank you. Soon to become a rich man. Oh God, oh God. 
be waiting to happen with that now. This is the one that they talk now in my life. When I don't have a good life on my head, don't be waiting to happen with that. I don't tell you now before waiting now. <laughs> <laughs> Say it a liar. I don't feel talk that guy too. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Down, down, all right? We will not beat you again. We just want the truth from you, and that's all. All right? Okay. Now, that night, he decided to stay outside, despite the time. <laughs> Why? The breeze is not going to go collect. It's a house too cool. Now I see my glass, I will collect natural air. You can collect police for a side. Yes. But you have an air conditioner in your room. Why didn't you turn it on? Okay. I don't get pneumonia symptoms already. I decided to go outside to go and take natural air because the, the cold is becoming too much in my system. That was why I went outside. This guy is trying to take us on the wonder ride. <clears throat> what do you see us like? Nothing. Intruits? <clears throat> Who don't know that air condition can be regulated, right? <clears throat> no, is that how you see us? No. Okay, you could die today. Uh, Jesus. No, this fool is a hardened criminal. <laughs> no. And I must get the truth out of your mouth today. Okay, I don't talk to my Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing anyone will tell me that will convince me not to believe that Mark is not hiding something. Especially about the death of the prince's girlfriend. Hmm. You know, the way he has been behaving, and from Anne's earlier reports, okay. something is really fishy. I will advise we keep quiet and know how we talk here because the walls have ears. Ears or not. I am saying something important and we have to look into it. Yes, Yoko. We should look into it. As the taxi for what now? I don't know. See, eh? Let's just drop this issue oh. and talk about something important that affects us. Not prognosing into uh, other people's business, especially here in the real household. Nekwanya, hmm. the king is our employer and he can easily kick us out if we are not careful. Enough of your preaching. If you're not interested in this topic, you can leave. Oh, sorry, oh, madam. Hey, when you went. I think that is what I'm going to do now because my mom is gradually recovering and I wouldn't want her to hear that her daughter is in trouble. Mm? Sister Mary. Continue with your gossip. I beg you. Mary, it does not got into that. Come back now. Leave her later, go. Mary. Mary. Mary, I'm as far. Come back. Come back to where? You said, church, 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 church. I beg. You're the only one that have all the stories to tell. Me too, I don't want to be in trouble. I want to go. Uh, hello. It is not like that. I just love the other material for the program. No, 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 no. I cannot manage it. Please just call your vendor, okay? Tell her to get the exact material that I need. Okay. Uh, Yes, any price at all, I'll pay. Okay, okay, no problem. Um, please, let me call you back, okay? Let me take a call. Hello, who is this? What? How? What happened? On the run? Do I get 500k to give to you? Oh, please. This is not happening. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Don't hang up on me, please. Please. Hello? 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 No, this is not happening. Oh no, what do I do, what do I do now? 
What do you think about the investigation so far? The people interrogated so far are proving to be tough. But it's just a matter of time. And they will reveal every secret they are hiding. As you know, the first stage is always very difficult. You know, I am seriously suspecting Tina the Gate Man. Something is telling me that there is affiliation somewhere. Same goes with me. But we depend on instincts. The government needs evidence to pass judgment. An evidence we must have, at least for now, we've known the kind of suspect that we have. All we need to do is to up our game. I'll suggest we take a rest at least and analyze the things we've done so far. Okay. Your wish is my command, sir. Thank you. believe that you are very stupid. What is wrong with you? Have you forgotten that you swore to work diligently for His Majesty, the King of this Kingdom, and also to keep the royal secret of this palace? But, but again, you are scaring me the more. Yes, you are. If you continue to throw caution to the wind, you will wake up one day to realize that you have lost your job and also lose things or people that are very important to you. What is wrong with you? Mark, do you really want to lose your job? Not just losing your job, you will also lose things that are very close to and dear to you because of your stupid recent activities. Uh, uh, Agiri, with due respect, what recent activity are you talking about? Please, make me understand. Continue to ask me stupid questions. Go ahead with your stupid questions until I realize that you have said things you are not supposed to say. Until I hear things that I'm not supposed to hear from those foolish girls. Then I, Ayeri, will teach you the true colors of a raging fire. Continue. Nonsense. This is just what I'm doing. I, 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 I am a man that knows what I'm doing. How does he manage to keep secrets? How does he survive keeping secrets? It really baffles me. I called you through, Ayeli. You said you wouldn't come. Neither will you carry out the assignment given to you. What has changed your mind? And what has been giving you the gods to defy me? Know that the wealth you are sitting on all belongs to me. Oh, God. Father, don't you think this sermon is already taking too long? Besides, you should be saying the benediction by now. I have other things to do with my time. I don't know you to be a talkative father. Prince Alfred, you are standing before the great king of Obago Kingdom. 
Chew your words before you spill them. Would you shut up? Shut up! How dare you speak when royalty is speaking? Where were you when he summoned for the ant infested firewood that brought about the guardian of the lizard? You should have used that same energy to talk him out of killing my own girlfriend. Shut up! Shut up if I shut it up for you! Listen to me. Son or no son, you're not immune to my rats. So you better watch your words carefully. Listen, oh boy. You better be of good behavior. Because Princess Olivia is coming into this country in the next two months. And as she enters this country, the royal wedding between the both of you will take place. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. You know what? Um, this is more like the funniest joke of the century that I'm hearing ever. I'm not joking about this. <laughs> Well, um, Father, the thing is, um, you know what I think? You can actually go ahead and marry this Princess Olivia, whoever she is. Besides, I can't marry that girl, not even in this lifetime. Try me. Excuse me. Try me! My cake. Alfred, do not touch the tail of a tiger. We just need to wrap up before we know the next step to take. Okay, but before then, before then, you need to keep your ears on the ground. Jesus, 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 sis. Says you can't be here. You were supposed to be here. You were dead and I will bury us, sis. sis. If one cannot trust family, then who can one trust? See where your evil lifestyle has left you. Because of greed, you walked against your own blood. Gift, what did I not do for you? What did I not do for you in this life? Sis, I'm sorry. Sis, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me for everything I've done to you, sis, please. Forgive me. Sis, remember your promise. You promised to protect me, please, sis. How do I protect you from this wren? How do I protect you from the underworld? Yes, sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry, please. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Hey, hey. Uh, you alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, okay. <coughs> you look tensed. No, no, I'm fine. You sure everything is fine? Yeah. <clears throat> um, gift. At this point, I just have to let it out. Like I, I'm, I'm mad. I'm crazy. Everything is wrong with me right now. Right? I don't want to know whether you killed your sister or not. I do not want to know. Are you listening to me? What is of interest to me right now is for us to get that inheritance that belongs to you. Just look at it. Your sister.
sister is dead and gone. Possibly resting in peace or not. Right? We have such... You have such a big house. Big houses. And we are here in the hotel. And we... No, no, no. I am paying for the hotel. Come on. Does it make any sense to you? Does it? Spider, I need you to calm down. And take the process step by step. Okay? Spider looks like the bad person here right now. Okay, Spider, calm down and take the process. So you and I are coming down here. And that fool, that idiot, that good for nothing girl, Tina, is taking over everything. Spider, the police are still investigating on this case. Don't you think that it will be suspicious for us to file a case now? Don't you think so? Forgive me, sis, sis, I beg you, please don't harm me. Please. Sis, please. I have come to take your life. <laughs> That's me. Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You are fine and you woke up like this. Why would she be happy with you? How would I know? Besides, when she was alive, she was never happy with me. Maybe she took the, the same resentment with her over there. Gift. Gift. Hmm? Did you kill your sister? Sharon, this secret you are keeping away from me, it's really making me to think wide. How can I be in the same room and on the same bed with a woman who keeps dreaming and waking up every night and I don't even know what she's dreaming about as your husband? So we can put hands together and find a solution. Is that not the reason why we are couples? Yeah, yeah. Samuel, I told you I'm fine. I'm good. You don't have to get yourself worked up. So asking my wife why you keep waking up at the middle of every night, it's now getting worked up? How can you say you are fine, same time looking scared like this? Ever since this dream of years, 
you have practically lost hold of yourself. You have lost touch. You don't seem to be the same woman that you were before. What is going on? I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Samuel, I'm okay. All is well. I, I told you I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry I had to wake you up. Please, just... I disagree with you. You are not fine. I said I'm Everything fine. is not okay. I'm fine. And I got me to the one Please. Do not say that to me again. I'm fine. Okay. Get some rest then if you say you are fine. This is getting too much and I'm beginning to fear for my life. Should I just confess and get this load off my chest? saying you are fine you are fine each time you had this dream of yours don't you think a problem shared it's half soft Samuel there are certain things you don't bug people with people you said is that my position now my love is not something I cannot handle it is just a dream and you keep having that same dream of yours over and over again. How do you know I keep having the same dream over and over again? Because I'm already used to it. That is the only thing that will keep you this terrified each time you wake up from sleep. Babe, why don't you just try as much as possible, no matter how hard it is for you? And tell me what the problem is, so we can both find solution as husband and wife. Why don't you please open up and talk to me? Take a leave from your company. What? Lady and gentlemen, how may I help you both? Greetings. I guess you are Mr. Alfred. Prince Alfred. Sorry about that. My bad. Prince Alfred. My name is Detective Tony Wally. And my colleague here is Detective Susan Dukes. We are from police headquarters. I guess you are aware of the mysterious death of one lady called Laura. We have um, a warrant to bring to the state police headquarters for questioning. But I... I didn't kill Laura. We never said you did. At least not yet. Or do you want to save us the stress of the investigation by letting the cat out of the bag? Awesome. 
the second time. Tina, do you think I don't know you killed my sister? It's not up to a month my sister died. Here you are, valuing her house. Who is feeding you with all those lies? Who? You know me. I cannot kill your sister. I did not kill her. She's my best friend. She's all I got. This is all I've got. Of course, you killed her because of her businesses and properties. But I promise you, you will not succeed. At least, not what I'm saying. Okay, enough. And now you listen to me. If I should find out you have a hand on this after the police investigation, I promise you, Kate. I am going to be an undigested meat in your system. Tina, is that a threat or what? Call it whatever you like. Now you get out. Get out! <laughs> I should get out. Wow. Already exercising full ownership. Darling, this is not yet. Get out. Don't play. Get out! Don't play! Get out! You go away. <laughs> did you see that? No, did you see that? How do you expect me to manage her? I can't handle gift alone. Come back to me, you better go back. <laughs> Spirits, what have you come here to do? Are you not satisfied disturbing my sleep almost every night? When one wields the mortal powers, he considers himself Lord, forgetting that the supernatural rules the natural. Depart from me, for the living and the dead have nothing in common. O oh, ye mortal king, your deed has been weighed on the scale of justice. And if you do not retrace your steps, your doom will be served on a platter. Greetings, Your Majesty. Sorry to disturb your quiet moment. State your reason of disturbing. 
your majesty, Prince Alfred was taken to the station by two dictators for questioning. How serious is the matter? Your Majesty, I am yet to get information regarding that. I hope you took care of everything as I ordered. Yes, Your Majesty, I did. Then let's maintain decorum as we watch out the turn of events. As it pleases you, Your Majesty. Good to have you here. It's as if you knew I needed a friend to talk to. I am not here for that. What do you mean? I am here for a serious business. Oh, yes. Um, and the transaction starts now. Can you at least sit down so I can offer you a drink? Sit. Sit are for people with leisure of comfort. I am here for a serious business. I'm into trouble and I need money. What kind of trouble are you talking about? That's not your business. It is my business. The only business you have now is give me money to clean up my mess. Excuse me? What are you insinuating? Why are you sounding like this? I need 500k and the aspiration of things for hours. Are you on cheap drugs or something? Is this a prank? Huh? You should know me by now. I don't blab. If you don't give me the money, I will tell the world what you've done. Jenny, please. What is all this? Why you... I, look, look, look. Where do you expect me to get 500,000 naira from when you know very well that I am not working? Then get it from who is working. If I don't get the money in less than 24 hours, you will not like the next news and the headline. Oh, What is all this? Why me? What do I do now, God? What is all this? You just have to help me, God. Please. I thank you for waking me up by the time you did this morning. I should have known you prepared something special for me. What? That very day, I began the journey to my quest for true love. I made sure that my jogging activities measured on that very street so that I can behold her beautiful face every day. But I didn't know that was the beginning of the end. Hmm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No. I never thought of the fact that you could prepare such a good cuisine. Excuse you. I'm just being factual about it. Well, this is not the first time you're telling me my food is nice. And you wouldn't stop. Mm. You know, it's actually funny how you're eating and you're, you're looking to see what I'm bringing to you. <laughs> Hmm. Um, let me do this for you. Come here. Can I? It's a salad in it. Uh, don't worry, it's just a little. Mm -mm. You don't want this? Mm -mm. Really? But I want this with mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. But just add mine mm -hmm. though. Oh, oh my Take goodness. It oh my god, this is super feeling though. So, oh, don't do this with me. <laughs> don't be like this, yo. 
Oh, kako nam mati. Nam mati, nam mati, nam mati, nam mati, nam mati, nam mati. Ok, nam mati, nam mati. Ah, I'm done. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing this again with you. You know what? You know what? Okay. Open it. Sharply. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not eating anymore. You know, okay, fine, I'm sorry. Hey, come on. Okay. All right, okay, fine, okay, sorry. But when this storm gathered, as a wise sailor, you abandoned the ship and everything in it. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Prince Alfred, we're not here for tales by moonlight. I want you to fast forward your story to the point where you killed the damsel you swore to protect. Do you understand the gravity of what you are accusing me of? Do you understand the gravity of what you're loving against me? Anger issues. We have seen something like this over and over. Susan. Prince Alfred. Do not be too hard on yourself. All I need is the truth. Nothing but the truth. And you... You think I killed Laura? You're the one to tell me. That is why you're here. No, that's not the problem. I don't even understand my girl anymore. Right? I don't know what her plans are. I'm confused. I'm in the dark. She's not telling me anything. No, 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 no. That's not the point. She knows she cannot double cross me. She knows. She knows I am spider. And no one dares do that to me. Yet my problem with her is this her due process thing. She wants to follow the process one, two, three, four, five. It's not my pattern, and you know it. Yes. E exactly the point. I'm not used to that. That's not my pattern. And I'm telling her, look, babe, let's change this. Let's change this plan. She's not. She's acting up. Yes. I don't know. Her sister is dead now. Instead of her to be happy and working fast to take over the, the empire, she's, she's acting up. She's acting weird. <clears throat> Listen. Listen to me. The reason I'm calling you is for you to stand by. At this point, anything can happen at any time. Yes, I need you to stand by. You know, we have to take the game into our own hands now and change the pattern. Okay, so let's, let's change the number. Yes. How did, how did you get in here? Well, those are one of the privileges that comes with being the spirit you have always wanted me to be. I can be anywhere, at any time. What, what, what do you want from me? Eh? Please. Eh? What, what do you want? Are you seriously asking me that question? <laughs> Taking my sister was not enough for you. You had to come for me. Huh?
Well, that is not necessary. I am only here to warn you to do the needful before an ugly fate befalls you. Hey. Hey. What needful are you talking about? The cry of the wolf at night is not for games playing, but for business. You call yourself Spider. Well, it is time for you to use your head just like the spider and decipher what the needful is. Else, Doomsday will come calling faster than you thought. What is it for? To calm your nerves. Go ahead and try it. It works all the time. Shall we continue? I guess that is a yes. The disease left your house around 10 a.m. on that fateful day. And she was shot dead by an unknown gunner. And that same girlfriend was pregnant for her supposed boyfriend, who I presume is you, correct? And what are both of you trying to arrive at? The lady that was carrying your seed was murdered in cold blood the night that she left your house. They never cared to find out who killed her. I even appeared at the crime scene. Not until today that you were invited for questioning. Mr. Al... Oh, sorry. Prince. Alfred, is there something you're hiding from us? Ayeri, what is the meaning of this? What secret did you leak? What are you talking about? What, what are you Will saying? Will you shut your mouth before I slap you? Don't let me descend on you. What secret of the royal household did you leak? I hear I swear by the gods, I did not tell anybody anything. Or did you hear anything? Don't play dumb games with me. Don't try it. Don't. A lot is already happening. And I, Ageri, is ready to do whatsoever to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Mark, listen and listen to me very well. If anything happens to any member of the royal household, and I find out that it is courtesy of your stupidity, I will have your head hung on a spike. Maybe you see, I will deal with you. Don't say I did not warn you. Those I did not warn you. What is the meaning of this? I mean, what have I done to Aliyah in this palace? Did I eat a snail and give him each sheet? Can I give him a man who can hold me in the tobacco? I think I. Then get it from who is working. <laughs> if I don't get the money in less than twenty-four hours. You will not like the next news and the headline. 
God. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? How am I going to tell my husband that I need the sum of 500,000 Naira? Ah! Sharon, what have you done to yourself? What have you done to yourself, Sharon? Sweetheart. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm good. You're welcome. Um, you're not supposed to come back by this time. What changed? Against what? You took permission to close early today. Well, the company allowed my two months Ember leave backward, so I'm going to be with you for the next two good months. Oh, wow. That's nice. I know you're going to like it. Yes. So, honey? Sharon? Yeah? Yes. What? What a trunk. Talk to me. What is the problem? There's something I would like to tell you later. Why later? Why not now? Speak to me. What's going on? So you mean Agiri almost beat up Mark in a bid to find out the truth from him? Hmm. I was very shocked from where I watched from. You know, these two people, these two people are fine. They are just doing everything possible to hide something that you and I don't know. A very strong secret that is so disastrous like atomic bomb if it gets out <laughs> but I must do everything possible to hear it ha. <clears throat> and how do you intend to achieve that you know that Mark cannot control himself when it comes to a woman mm -hmm. I will seduce him into telling me what the secret is Mrs. Seducer what about as you're trying to seduce him according to you? Mm -hmm. The main, the main thing that happened, what are you going to do? Then I will consider that a sacrifice for getting what I want. <laughs> <laughs> now this is getting serious. So. Anyway, Sha, just be very careful. Eh? You know Age Irina has the eyes on you and Mark. You have to be very, very careful. You know, I have always been very careful. Now you need to be extra careful. <laughs> Mary. Mary. Hmm? Mary. <laughs> You're not saying anything. Me? Where is your mind? Say what? You mean you have not been listening to all I have been saying? <gasps> oh my, my God. My ears have filters. And they choose to listen to only positive things. Biko. Mm. Mary, Mary, Queen of Heaven. Pray for us. Ah, ah. Kind of innocent every time. Maybe you are forming innocence. Ah, at least join, join us now. Let's like, talk okay? something. Say something. My name is Williams Idogo. And the deceased was my colleague. She was a very hardworking lady who had all the virtue of excellence imbibed in her. A serious and diligent lady whom every man would love to have. Matter of fact, her excellent virtues got her to the position at our place of work until the cruel house of death snatched her from us. From what you just said, do you mean to tell me that you would have been the happiest man on earth if you had accepted to be your wife? Sure, if that was nature's design. Good. Apart from Nancy, the next person I would suspect is Williams. He asked Laura out countless times and she refused him. He got angry and she became his enemy. A 
According to Lara, he made some kind of threats. From our findings, you asked her out, right? Um, yeah, and like I said, she was every man's dream. A simple yes or no question, Mr. Williams. Yes, I, I, I asked her out. And she refused. Mr. Williams, you need to speak up for record purpose. Yes, she, she turned me down. Can we not talk about your threat to her for refusing you? William, seriously, I don't know how you want me to spell it out for you. How else do you want me to explain it to you that I am not interested? Laura, please. Laura, please consider me, Laura. Without you in my life, I don't know what to become of me, Laura. Please. Oh, God. Williams, to start with, you are not my type of man. Like, you are not... You know what? That aside, I am not interested in any relationship right now. I'm not interested in starting any relationship with anyone right now. So, Williams, I, I would suggest you just look for someone else. I mean, there are other girls out there who are ready and willing to love you the way you want to be loved. Because I'm not ready for it. Laura, please. I can't take no for an answer, Laura. Laura, please, consider me, Laura. Okay, you know what? Just give me three days. Three days to prove my love to oh you, Laura. God. And if I don't meet up to your standard, then you can push me out. Williams, you are beginning to get me angry. Like, you're beginning to annoy me. Didn't you hear what I said? I said, I... You know what? What is even the meaning of this? Like, if anyone walks in here, what would you tell them is happening here? Huh? Please, just, just get up and leave. Get up, please. Laura, get no. Up and go, so. Laura, no, I'm not standing. Neither am I leaving until I hear something positive from you, Laura. Okay. Laura, I need you. Hold on, you're not going. Yes. You want to remain here? Fine. Well, I had something doing when, before you walked in to disturb me. So I'm going back to it. And when you're done, with this charade, hmm? you know the way to the door. Use it. Laura. Laura, don't go. Laura. Laura, I love you. Laura. I'm not going to leave this place until I hear something positive from you, Laura. Laura. I tried everything possible to make her realize that she meant everything in the world to me. But uh, I, I was disheartened when the worst scenario happened. I planned and fully paid for her congratulations birthday party as she was promoted to the manager. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, today is a very special day as we set aside to celebrate one of our own and to surprise her as well. But at this time, I would like to call on an elegant lady Someone whose achievement has brought us all to this place. A lady with a great heart, a very kind heart, that has been written and touching lives positively. I'm talking about no other person than the latest general manager in town. Miss Laura, please put your hands together Aww. as she comes to cause the cake. Please. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you you guys got me on this one because this is this this is indeed a surprise. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> I, I totally did not see this coming. <laughs> but I want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who came together and uh, made this happen. I truly appreciate. I do. Then, um, like we have gathered here to celebrate my birthday and um, also celebrate my promotion as the general manager of Nolly Group of Companies. 
I also want to seize this opportunity to say thank you to every one of you. Because in as much as we are celebrating um, the promotion, in as much as we all think it's my hard work, my dedication and tenacity to work that um, gave me the promotion, I also want to seize this opportunity to let you all know that every one of you here, friends and family, also made it happen. Because in one way or the other, you have supported me with your love, with your encouragement, physically, spiritually, in any way possible. And um, you all made it happen. So ladies and gentlemen, this is me saying thank you. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being in my corner, my small corner. I appreciate it. God bless you all. So as I as I'm about to cut my cake, I want to seize this opportunity once more to appreciate someone, someone who has been in my life, who has been of a great and maximum support. Like it's a support system. <clears throat> Somebody who has been there through thick and thin, who has um, always helped me through, through it all. I consider this person a friend indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, no, <laughs> God, you guys want to make me cry. Anyway, let me go straight to the point. I would love to uh, call upon the person of Miss Justina Williams. My best friend, my sister, my ally, my confidant to come yes. this cake with me. <laughs> Thank I you. love you. Leo, come on. You know I love you more, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like for real? <laughs> guys, okay. Uh, you know what's going to happen right now. You guys will help me to cut this cake. But before then, ouch. I would like to appreciate my sweetheart. Can we just cut the cake? My boobulicious. Oh, God. My best. Here thing. comes the drama. My love. The letter C E O. <laughs> okay, no, guys. Okay, I've stopped already. Yeah. I've stopped. Let's cut the cake. Yes, of course. Okay, guys, we are going to spell Jesus. Mm. And the mention of Jesus, you know, things begin to happen. <laughs> things will continue to happen. Mommy G, okay, and it's going to continue to happen in her life in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, let's, let's go. go. Let's go, baby. Okay, hold the cake. Mm -hmm. Can someone give me J? J. J. E. 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 I think that would have made you happy, Laura. Because she already killed me! Excuse you, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what nonsense are you talking about? Laura, what was that you exhibited at the party the other day? What are you talking about? You're still not making sense. <sighs> Laura, just take a look at you. Can you even change? Excuse you? Laura, you bluntly embarrassed me without any remorse in a party that I fully organized and executed because of you. You even caught enough to cut the cake while I was there. Yes. <sighs> God, is this what this nonsense is all about? Is this what this is all about? I remember you calling me to tell me you want to organize something for me on my birthday. And I told you no. 
because I already had something in plan, which I told you about, that I have a plan of having a get-together with my family, my immediate family, and that consists of my sister and Tina. But you insisted. I said, okay, fine, go ahead. You did what you did because you wanted to do it. And you ask, I asked you, I clearly remember, I asked you if this had anything to do with you trying to get me to be your girlfriend because it's not going to work. You said, no, that this is just coming from a place of friendship. Okay. And I agree. So what is this fuss all about? Laura, you know what? I've had it to my elastic limit with you. You are going to make up for that embarrassment. No, 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 no. Back up a little. As for making up, what's your price? Tell me your price because I can write you a check here and now. If that will at least make you concentrate on your job because you're losing it. I'm beginning to make a lot of excuses for you, corrections for you. And at some point, I might have to let you go. So you have to put yourself together. If writing you a check is going to put you together, say it, call your price. Let me get my checkbook and write it. Excuse me, please. There you go, acting like the boss. Huh? Are we talking about money here, Laura? You think this is a joke? <laughs> oh, Laura, you see, the only way you can make up for this embarrassment is by accepting my proposal. Oh, I see. So this is what this whole thing is all about. Well, I'm sorry, Williams, because you might have to wait forever because my answer will always and consistently be no. Get this thing out of my way. Laura, it is me or no one else. Go contrary to this, and I might consider acting without thinking. that the position of manager was not given to me. But not eating cake in the party or even food doesn't mean that I hated her so much to the point of killing her. You were later seen in the kitchen with Williams. What were you doing there? You guys were also looking for something. Am I right? Uh, 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 nothing much. Miss Nancy, can you explain better? He was so hurt and angry that he even shed tears. We were looking for serviette for him to clean his tears, but we couldn't find any. After which we started talking about work. He said Laura had the guts to insult him because she was now on top. He said he would double his work mood too, to get to the top too. What are you insinuating? You were looking for a serviette. Nancy, I am not just an officer. I am a trained detective who has never given up on any case no matter how difficult. Where can this be? I can't find anything. Oh, I can't find it. Miss Nancy, can you explain better? Yeah. Since so she got promoted at the office, she now looks down on me. I can't take it anymore. I don't like this. I understand how you feel, dear. Please calm down. See, I can't take this. Do you know what I proposed to her? She refused. She refused my proposal. Huh? Don't worry. Everything is going to be alright. Okay. Please calm down. Okay. Upon her promotion to the position of a manager, you were made the assistant manager, right? That's correct. And yet, you were not happy about it. Officer, if you're using that as a bait to magnet me into what I did not do, then you are wasting your time. Besides, everyone wants to be at the top, including you. Am I wrong? <laughs> oh, 
No matter how fat the leech grows, it will always long for another meal. Mr. Williams, thanks for your time. But going forward, you will see more of me. But officer, I am innocent of these accusations, officer. Believe me, officer, I'm innocent. Huh? I should believe you. A young man made a threat to a young lady. And a few weeks after, the young lady was shot to death. The young man who made the threat and act enemy to the deceased were marked for promotion. Does that make any sense to you? Officer, believe me, officer. I am innocent of these accusations. I swear, officer, believe me. How can I kill my own colleague, officer? I can't do that. Allow the law to prove that. Thanks for your time once more. Um, officer. I have something important to tell you. I thought you said you have somewhere very important to go. Hey, sweetheart. I just made something in the kitchen, okay? Let's go eat. I'm not hungry. I don't have appetite to eat. Babe, I am your husband. If anything bothers you, I am going to be restless. I've noticed something is actually eating you up. Please, no matter how difficult it is, open up and talk to me. What aches the matter? I... I urgently need the sum of 500,000 Naira. That's half a million. What do you need it for? I went to the hospital earlier today before you came back because I was having stomach ache. So that's why I had to go to the hospital. And you never cared to tell me about it. I'm sorry. The doctor said there's a little shift in the baby's original position. He already mentioned what needs to be insected so that the baby can absorb and, and dress back. So I called my friend in India. Everything she calculated will cost 585,000 Naira. I have just 90,000 Naira to add up the fraction. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Look, if anything like this happens again, please tell me immediately. You're my wife. You're my responsibility. If you don't tell me and anything ends up happening to you, people will accuse me wrongly that I have used you for one thing or the other. Look, when we're done eating, I will make immediate transfer of 700,000 <gasps> Naira to your account. What? Oh. What is it? Nothing. I... I... I love you. I love you so much. I love you, baby. Love Thank you. you. It's okay. You're my wife. Oh, please don't You're touch. I'm sorry. Please don't come close. Don't. Don't. It's okay. Um, can we go eat now? Of course we can. I have appetite to eat. Yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, okay. I can eat now. <laughs> don't. Mm -mm. Don't come close. Just, just stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I'll come down by myself. Just, just stay 
just yeah. watch where you put Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, shh, um, don't, just, 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 go help myself out. Hmm? Just, 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 stay, stay, stay. Make sure you don't fall. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just, just, just be on my back. Be on my back. <laughs> 